Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Sunday, January 2nd, 2022, and the time is 2.36 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. There's no other time. It doesn't matter what year it is. It's still Jersey time if you are in Jersey and you think like New Jersey. All right, we got another Blue Zero here, a right out of New Jersey story for you. I'm a little behind on some of the stories, but here's one right here. This is reported on NJGOT.com on December 17, 2021. Former NJ police sergeant found guilty in overtime theft case. Wow. Another officer doing time theft. Now, again, we must keep in mind these are isolated incidents, and how often do I report stories about officers lying on their time card and trying to get paid more? And that's stealing from the tax from the taxpayers, people. Well, here's the story right there. Look at that. Find out. I wonder how many awards she has. You know, they all got awards, right? They're always giving each other awards. And then when they get in trouble, they never talk about it on their Facebook page. They have no problem trashing us. But when one of their own screws up, mom's the word. They don't do not want to acknowledge it. All right, let's find out what this fine upstanding, well trained, professional. Hero, people, hero, remember, out risking our lives every day has been up to. Well, it says uh, a Superior Court jury here in Union County. And Union County is, let's see, one, two, two counties up north of me. So I want to say this is about 45 miles away, 50 miles away, something like that. Uh, uh, a Superior Court jury in Union County found a former Plainfield police sergeant guilty this week of a scheme where she falsified records to be paid for hours she did not work for the department authorities said I wonder what else she has fa falsified you know they love to write a lie on reports don't they oh I shouldn't say lie get creative Leslie Knight 51 of Plainfield was found guilty Tuesday on several counts of both third and fourth degree theft by deception and one large charge of falsifying records a fourth degree crime following a two week trial, according to a statement from the Union County Prosecutor's Office. I'm surprised she didn't try to go for a uh, plea deal. In 2014, Knight and another officer, then Lieutenant James Abney, were indicted on several dozen crimes that accused them of falsifying time sheets and police records to get extra pay for overtime or extra duty shifts they did not work. Investigators said she stole $6,800 in pay and that Abney took $4,200, prosecutors said. An investigation revealed that for an 18-month period between 2012 and 2013, Knight, who was then a sergeant in the department's administrative bureau and had been employed by the department since 2001, purposely submitted false requests for overtime and extra-duty job payments that overlap with each other and also with her regular duty hours, resulting in her pocketing double and sometimes triple payments from the city of Plainfield for the same hours. Now, let me just tell you people, Plainfield is a toilet bowl, okay? It's a, it's a smelly toilet bowl. Okay, uh, but Knight eventually struck a deal with prosecutors which allowed her to plead guilty to one of the theft charges, which was reduced disorderly conduct, a petty disorderly person's offense. See, this is where they get the little special treatment. You and I would never get that, would we? She agreed to forfeit her job with the department and pay $1,530 in restitution. Did she retire or something? 51 years old. Abney won a dismissal of the indictment against him and eventually returned to the force. And last summer was promoted to capital. Oh, that's nice. He gets caught up in some questionable activity and he gets promoted. In an appellate decision handed down earlier this year, appeals judge found no factual basis existed to support Knight pleading guilty to disorderly conduct. The decision reversed the trial judge's denial of her wish to withdraw her guilty plea. It wiped out her conviction and led to the eventual two-week trial that ended Tuesday with her guilty conviction. Knight is scheduled to be sentenced on March 11, 2022, and faces a sentence of up to six and a half years in state prison, but we know she'll never do it, the office said. She'll also be ordered to pay restitution to be permanently barred from future public employment in New Jersey. Well, personally, she's not going to see a day in jail. She's going to get probation, and she's going to have to pay that all that money back, and 
That's it. She's 51 years old. I then I don't recall him saying about her retirement or anything like that. I would expect she would have resigned real quick and then try to put a retirement in. But uh, she'll get her money back that she paid into the pension system. And uh, she'll ride off in the sunset as if nothing ever happened. Well, another hero stealing from the taxpayers.